Hey everyone, welcome back. And boy, do I ever have an exciting puzzle for you guys today. Actually, three puzzles. We are doing three puzzles in one. I also have a very exciting announcement for you guys, and I cannot wait to explain all about this incredible puzzle to you guys. I know it's gonna seem really gimmicky at first. Bear with me here, trust me, this one's worth the wait. Let's get into it. Hey guys, all right, so, like I said in the intro, today we are doing three puzzles in one. One of our friends slash customers very, very generously let me borrow this. This was their Christmas present this year. And at first when they were doing it too, I'm sure they're thinking what some of you are probably thinking right now, that this is a little bit gimmicky. Three puzzles in one, the cheap little 3D glasses things, eh, trust me. This is really, really cool. Um, and I also have a very exciting announcement as well today. The same people that gifted me this puzzle are the winners of our puzzle race in the store two times over. And tomorrow, live, in the afternoon, I will be racing them. That's going to be 4v1, by the way. So you guys are going to want to tune in for that one. So make sure you hit that subscribe button because you do not want to miss that event. That's going to be pretty crazy. I don't know if I can beat four people. For today. I'm tackling multiples again though. This puzzle is supposed to be three puzzles in one. So this puzzle very much has to do with light and colors and all that kind of stuff. You're putting on the respective three 3D glass type things and they're changing how this puzzle looks. So it's actually going to present three completely different images. Um, and I was doing a little bit of experimenting with this before the video even started, looking at it through the box, the picture that comes inside of it and all that. Um, Vicky Makes and Builds very recently released a gradient puzzle and she kind of had a theory that people see color very differently and I think that might really be accurate and I can't wait to hear what you guys think when the puzzle's complete, when I put the 3D glasses up to the close-up cam and show you guys that it actually really does work because for myself personally, I don't see the blue one as well in this. I really don't. It could just be, I did see it better on the box. It could just be that it doesn't show up as well on the printout copy versus the puzzle. It, this is a really neat experiment and I really can't wait. I can't wait to see what issues people possibly have with seeing it, if they can see it at all. Um, I'd be very curious to know Todd's thoughts being colorblind and all that, if that's gonna play any kind of effect into what he sees here and anyone else who might be colorblind out there like it because I'm not so I don't know I don't know what you would see with this like I think that would be so cool to know so we have the box this is what it's gonna look like it's gonna look like a pile of mumbo jumbo while I'm building this fair warning we have the red the which one comes at first the blue and the green glasses so as you put these bad boys on you know, we're looking super cool in our glasses here. Um, different images present itself in the puzzle, which is pretty awesome. Like I'm seeing a moose really clearly here, for example, and I'm seeing, I think that's a rabbit kind of thing. There's a boar. Um, so that's really cool. By far, I find the red ones work the best. I won't do those all right now. I won't leave spoilers. I won't make you guys wait too, too well. I think it's really neat that this puzzle comes in a plastic bag. Er, sorry, paper. This is paper. I was like, this do you is, know what plastic this is? is? Paper. I know what plastic is. Piss off. <laughs> I was like, wow. <laughs> I have a hard time seeing blue. What about plastic and paper? <laughs> yeah, I think I'll put a plastic bag over your head if you're not careful. And you'll know what plastic <laughs> is too. This is paper. This is a paper bag. Um, the puzzle comes in a paper bag. Very cool. Very eco-friendly thought. I think that's pretty cool. Uh, same consistency of like a craft paper kind of thing. So that's a, that's a neat, different idea. Ooh. All right. So that's all the pieces. That would be my only fear with this. You can't see if all the pieces are out. Um, well, actually, like they seem like pretty good quality pieces right off the hop. Jumps out at me. Kind of similar to Ravensburger. They got the blue backing. I don't know how they interlock yet just yet. Looks like they've got a glassy finish. Um, so they're not soft click. They are the hard ones. Do, 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 do. Big pieces too. But I mean, hey, it's only 500 pieces. I guess I should mention that. It is only 500 pieces. Um, and it's titled Kuroski animals jigsaw puzzle if anyone is interested as well um, apparently it's supposed to include the digital app uh, because it's a loner I, I 
I'm not sure about that part. That part I am uncertain of. This will be interesting to put together. Like, I don't know how confusing this is going to be seeing all this mumbo jumbo. I wonder if it will be easier as I go if I use the glasses at certain points, or I wonder if I just wore the red glasses for it. I'm, here's an interesting experiment. Let's see. Oh yeah, that does make that makes certain things more clear, but now I'm getting a little white in the background. So I'm going to start out with just the mumbo jumbo regular strategy of sorting out the edge pieces and all that good stuff. Um, do we want to do a close up cam of the pieces while they're like this with one of the colors? Sure. Sure. All right, you guys. So I'm going to do a close up cam so you can see what the pieces look like with the red. Um, fair warning to anyone with any issues with seizures or lights or anything, this is going to look like we're in a nightclub and unfortunately there's nothing I can do about that. It's just the way that the light shows up on the camera. Uh, so if that does bother you at all, you may want to skip past this part. Do you, okay. Ready? Yeah. Alright you guys, so. Here is the pile of pieces, regular, this is without any glasses or anything. Like you can see, nice big pieces. We've got all the random colors and such on them. So it's gonna be interesting. This is what the puzzle looks like when it's finished. Again, a pile of mumbo jumbo, I know. Okay, and here come the glasses. Sorry again about the lighting. Totally changes what you're looking at. It may be harder to tell when it is just a pile of pieces, um, but when I was looking at them just now, I was able to see certain colors jumping out a little bit more, a whole lot more white background, um, and there's a little teaser as to what the printout looks like. Okay. Okay. All right, you guys, let's get into this. Let's see what it's like to put together. Are you going to try to do the whole puzzle just like, like that or with glasses on? I don't know just yet. Like so far it's not going too badly to just do it regular, but this is also just the border. If I do it with any of the glasses on, I think it'll be the red ones. Yeah. Definitely the top, so my assumption that the animals were all facing right side up is serving me pretty well. Because to be honest, I didn't really pay attention to that when I was looking through all those glasses. Or maybe I did subconsciously, but I didn't really retain that consciously. It definitely is tougher than a regular puzzle, just with all the random mishy mashy colors going on. Well, so I wonder if it was going to be like, it's just all, I can see that being one that you, you would have to kind of follow the, the box more. A so. little bit, yeah, to really be able to tell, okay, this blob of colors goes here, this blob goes there. Um, but once you get rolling, it's not too, too bad. It looks like one that you can be stuck for a little while and then all of a sudden get big chunks, but be getting really big chunks. Right. Okay, so now that the border's done, I'm going to attempt to do it without the glasses first. And if that doesn't go too well, I'm gonna transition into using the red glasses to try to solve it. Not that 
it's going badly, but I do want to see what it's like with the glasses on trying to solve it versus not. Not necessarily the box, but um, I want to start with the blue, but the yellow's been really jumping out at me. I, I will try the red to start. Whoa, is that ever make things different? But now it's just all... Hmm. Because now I'm going by shades and textures. So that's kind of why I think I like the color approach better, but it does just look like a mishty mash. Oh wow, is that ever clear on the... Holy crap, you guys. Interesting. It's really hard to explain what I'm seeing when you're not seeing it as well. Oh, I wish you could hop in my brain for a second. It's, um, it's like doing a black and white puzzle, but it's all red with just shades. And somehow that's apparently going well because I just got a bunch of pieces. Okay, maybe my mistake was assuming, I was like, well, now what the heck animal is this? But if I look at the picture, I can see the texture, like the birds and the snake and their feathers. Okay. And then if I swap the glasses for the green ones, I might be able to do whatever animals are revealed by that. I know, I look super cool in my glasses, right? It makes me look It makes me look way smarter. Now I'm smarter than Casey when he's wearing his glasses. I was going to say something, but... Well, all right. No, you say it. You say what you were going to say. Say it. Say it. Say it. Say it. Speak. Speak. Just, uh, you wear the glasses well. Ah, yeah, okay. I can hear the sarcasm in that. It's fine. It's fine. I hope this is the video that makes you go um, viral. <laughs> Why? So everyone can see me in the glasses? Yeah. <laughs> well, look at that. Look, I look so super techno. <laughs> It looks real weird looking at, oh my god, looking at the real world in these things, holy crap, it's so weird, oh my god, that's weird, it makes it look gray, the dragon, because it's all red. Well, you're taking the red out. Oh my god, that's weird, holy crap, is this a, what, what animal, is this deer seeing like gray and stuff, right, just shades of this, is this what they feel like? Wow, I don't think I like that, I don't think I'd want to live my life this way. I like color. What does it look like to see putting it together when you can just see the colors? Like I'm working by the shades, but does it look like I'm making any sense at all? Mm. I mean, there is still a pattern, so it's not like you it's not like it's all red and you're trying to, you know, like it's, it looks like normal. Okay. I keep wanting to look at the box, but, uh, ah, no, part of the image is cut off on that. It's <laughs> bad. That won't help at all. In fact, go away. Shoot. Shoot. <laughs> <laughs> What are these glasses even called, anyways? For whatever reason, I just think of them as 3D glasses. Like they kind of, I think of them coming the in premise. Like I think of them coming in the McDonald's Happy Meals and whatever with the toys and stuff. It's, it's the same idea because you're filtering out just certain what, things. Whereas the 3D, it's going to be one image drawn in black, and then 
shifted over to the left a little bit would be the, a duplicate in blue, and then shifted over to the right would be a duplicate in red. So that gives depth to it because now you've uh, hmm. you're only filtering out just one color now. Like they really do work. It's very weird to do what I know is a colored puzzle, but it looks red and black at the moment. It's a weird thought. And I wonder what, I don't know which ones these are. I think they're blue. I don't know if I want it. Oh, wow. Does that ever hurt your eyes to come back into the real <laughs> world for a minute? Whoa. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> My eyes. <laughs> What happens with the blue? Yeah, I don't get it. I really don't get... It's a little bit better in the puzzle for me versus in the image. I wonder what the whole assemble thing will look like because I see a butterfly there. There's a bug there, but I'm just not getting... I gotta like squish them up to my face to really see. Yeah, the blue don't help me at all with this. That's, I don't see the blue as well. Ugh. Okay, what we got in green? Oh, wow. <laughs> Your green bean. That looks more normal than the green. The fire dragon. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of background noise with the green. Like, I see, a, I see it a little bit. I do, I do. But I actually think I like the textures of the animals and the, uh, the color filtration that I get with the red the best. So the animals that show up with the red, they're very distinct in like the, it's um, birds and stuff. So you've got the feather pattern, you've got this, the pattern of the snake. Um, so that's very distinct and that's helping a lot. If you were going to solve this puzzle, I recommend with the red. Or just try doing it by all the colors mishmashed together, which wasn't a bad strategy. I, uh, I, I think I'm having more fun with the glasses though. And to be fair, I didn't give the normal way that much of a chance, but kind of got caught up in doing it with the glasses. Dodo's beak. I've been looking for that for a good long while. That's right, I might not know what a plastic bag is, but I know what a dodo is. <laughs> and he's sitting right there. <laughs> Look at me, I think I'm funny. I'm funny. <laughs> things ever hurt your eyes after a little while. 
shock to the system. Actually, I might try it like this for a little bit. Now that there's a better base to work from, it's interesting to see the colors all mishmangled together. I thought I was seeing something for a little while there, but maybe I wasn't. It might still be easier. My glasses on, like I thought I was starting to see the pattern of some of the fur now that there was a little bit more solid color inside, but it was just a couple pieces. That's back to just being the random. What animal is that again? Hmm. I think I lied. I thought I wasn't seeing something, but now all of a sudden pieces are going in. <laughs> Oopsies! Okay, you guys. Ooh. Whoa, those things make the real world weird when you take them off after a while. Ooh. It is all done. Three different puzzles in one. Okay, so before I go ahead and show you guys with the close-up cam each individual frame, I'm going to take a sneak peek at them myself because I'm curious. Um, does the green show up better? Is there as much bleed between the animals and all that as versus the picture and the box? Um, I already know the red's pretty good because I was building it with the red. And can I see the insects with the blue as well? Because I didn't find I had as much success with that one looking at it ahead of time. Um, before I do that though, in terms of the actual puzzle itself, because I actually haven't talked much about that, I've just talked more so about the cool 3D stuff, um, it was pretty easy to build. I had the most success doing the border regular. Um, it, it, first, to try and do it regular, the sorting was a little confusing because there's so many different colors going on. The red glasses were my savior. Started off with that. It is so weird to work on what you know is a colored puzzle being effectively black and red. Um, but it works. It really does. And then when I came back to it, 
it was easier to almost work with the colors for a little while. And at first I was kind of stuck and thinking I was going to go back to the glasses, but then I got a whole bunch more pieces and like, oh, well, I guess I lied. Um, I did go back to the glasses for the snake skin because although I could have done it by the color, it was easier to see the pattern through the glasses because you're just, you're stripping the color away pretty much and you're just working with one thing. Um, so yeah, good quality. All the pieces go exactly where they should go. Um, I don't actually know if you could, eh, you could maybe pick this one up. I'm not going to now because I'm going to start somewhere before I show you guys what it looks like with this. Um, but all the pieces click in where they should and all that good stuff. I'm not actually sure what normal, like what really big name, well-known brand I could compare this to you for you guys. It does have thinner pieces, which you would expect of poorer quality puzzles, but in this case they work. They still have that fully interlocking goodness to them. Um, that's something like Ravensburg or Cobble Hill or one of the bigger names does that you guys know of. All right, let me see the red as I was working with it. Yes, there's almost no color bleed. You see the animals very clearly. I've got a dodo or, you know, the, the dodo. Mm -hmm. um, there's a turtle. There's some other birds going on here. There's lizard, snake, the big snake, an iguana. Just slide, just slide it, it down. There's a frog. Yeah, so you can see more of what you're playing. Okay, red coming off. The red, the red is the most effective, I still find. Okay. Going for the green. So now this one, the animals blended together a lot for me when I was looking at the image. Well, you know what? If you look at it further away, I don't see as much bleed through the animals. Um, it is better on the bigger scale. That being said, I couldn't quite tell you. I think this is a hippo, possibly. It, it's kind of hard to tell because the antlers of like a moose or something are bleeding through here and it's making it look a little funny. Um, that's a jackalope, I believe. The rabbit-like thing with the, the, the horns or the antlers. We got a monkey. That looks like the, the butt end of a fox. There's a little hedgehog. That's pretty cute. Oh, I think that's a little bear, but I'm not sure. We got a moose. We got some monkeys. Yeah, the green works better the further back you go, I find. It's actually, like, it's so cool. It really is three puzzles in one. Oh, wow. That's quite the stark contrast when you take it. So anything that's red in real life shows up with that one. That's, that's cool. So red is blue. Um, or blue is red. Red is green. Yellow is blue. Um, all right, let's see. Whoa. Kind of. It, it's kind of better in real life. Okay, ironically, green works better further away. I find blue works better close up. You're still getting some bleed through. Like, I'm seeing a lot of the animals that I was seeing with the green, but I can see the scorpion in the middle of the puzzle. There's some giant bugs. This is a lot of very insect-like ones, which is a little creepy crawly. I'm not going to lie. There's, like, insects and moths and things. There's a bee by the scorpion. Before we show them, do you want to see? See what you see? Well, I saw it on the sheet. It's different in real life. Whatever. He's a spoiled sport. Like I said, he's a dodo. Don't mind him. He's in the middle of the puzzle here. All right, you guys. I'm going to start off. I'll do the same order for you guys, so I'll show you the red first. Again, I will I'll retell you the warning. If you do have any problems with seizures or lighting or anything like that, this is going to look a little bit like you're in a nightclub, so do be warned. If you do have any of those issues, this part may not be for you or watch with caution. Alrighty. Actually, I'll, I'll start with this. So here's the puzzle without any of the glasses on. As you can see, it's a mishmash of color. You can kind of make out some of the animals when it's like this, but it's a lot clearer with the glasses. Alrighty, here come the red ones. And do, sorry guys, bear with me while I put this on. I'm sure Casey will edit it out. Oh, hey, actually that ended not turning out too badly. As you can see, the red really does well. Like it really shows off the animals. There goes the nightclub-y look. 
to you guys. Got a lot of birds. We got the snake. The snake was the easiest to put together. I recommend if you guys are going to try this puzzle or one like it for yourselves, um, definitely try putting it together with the red glasses. All right, back to real life. We are going for the green glasses now. Ah. Is that on their proper? Yes. Okay. As you can see, the animals are not quite as clear with this one. It may not actually be too bad for you guys, but uh, just with the way the colors go, you can see a little bit of the bleed through of the other animal puzzles, but they are pretty clear. Maybe we got that big animal in the middle. Got some little animals down here. We got some monkeys. Monkeys are pretty cute. So yeah, what you would think would be gimmicky is actually a pretty cool puzzle. Is this all different extinct stuff? I don't know. Or fantasy stuff? Uh, the first one had Dodo, that's extinct. Um, and then this... The jackalope? Yeah, I don't, I don't think they're real. I, I didn't think that they were real. Like, I know of them, but I didn't think that they were. All right, here goes the one that I struggle with. Whoa, does that ever make that dark? Oh, how's the picture quality for that? Let me see it. All right, you guys. Sorry it's a little dark. There's not a heck of a lot I can do about that, unfortunately. But as you can see, hopefully, this one is a lot more bugs and things. Like, we got the scorpion in the middle. We got moths, we got creepy insects. Uh, so this one's the creepy crawly one. Oh crap, I'm going into the lens of the camera. So yeah, I struggle with seeing them as clearly in the blue, but I'm really curious to know what you guys think. I mean, you guys are just seeing it on the screen, unfortunately, but it would be so, it's so cool to see what different people see through the glasses. All right. All right, you guys. All in all, I'm impressed with the puzzle. Like, I am. You wouldn't think, and I really wouldn't assume that these work as well as they do. They definitely come in handy when building the puzzle. To try and sort it out without them, I would think of a bit of a challenge. Um, so again, ah, this is the Karofsky Animal Puzzle. Um, you get the three different cool glasses and all that. 500 pieces, but really three puzzles in one. Um, I would definitely recommend this to anyone looking for a challenge. It's a really cool thing. Uh, the only thing I would definitely suggest is plan out how you're going to do it um, and take the glasses off and on occasionally because boy does it ever hurt your eyes when you take them off after a long time. All right, you guys, that's it for me today. We will see you guys tomorrow for the live. We'll let you know roughly around what time we're going to start. Uh, we'll probably do like a little short announcing it, that kind of thing. For me, racing a 4v1. So do not forget to hit that subscribe button because that is a video you will not want to miss. Have a good night, everyone. Bye.